Hey guys, and welcome to my second installment for Unity Reflect. On the first video, I talked about workflow and basic product features. In this one, I've got some really cool custom additions that we've added using the Unity Pro Editor. So with use of my iPad and my mobile viewer, I'm gonna be going into full-scale AR, construction timeline sequencing, and even some teleportation camera techniques that can be very helpful for demonstrating your model. So let's dive right in. All right, here we go. The first feature I'm gonna show you is full-scale AR. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna to pretend to be the end user where I just received a model from my architect. So I'm gonna jump right in by using this image tracker that I can line with one that I printed out and I have on my floor. And now this is gonna teleport me straight into the room to begin my tour. I can look around, I can view the model, and this makes it much more realistic than a simple uh, laptop experience viewing. Now, one thing that was very important to me as the end user was the furniture placement. So I want to find out where the furniture is, what it looks like, and make sure all the data is correct when I see it. So from here, I don't see any current furniture visible. Now because I'm an AR, maybe I can use some of my filtering techniques that I have from Unity Reflect and find furniture by isolating everything else and locating, see there it is, right there on the third floor. So since I'm on the first floor, I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. What I'll do is I'll go to my camera teleportation menu and jump straight into third floor lobby. I'm going to keep that view and AR button checked so because I want this experience to be the most realistic as possible. So here we go. Third floor lobby. Now I'm positioned right here in the center of the room. I can look around, I can explore, but most important to me right now is finding out what's going on with that furniture. So by using the Unity Pro Engine, I've added some interactivity to each couch, each table, each chair. So if I select this couch, now I've got a menu of everything that comes available from that export with from Unity Reflect and Revit to the Unity Reflect Viewer. Let's move over to the table. We can see the materials there, the cost, the model, the manufacturer. Let's move over to the chair. Same sort of content. And here's the greatest thing. Because you've got the Unity Editor behind this product, if you wanted to add more information here, nothing's stopping you. You could add lead times, website, contact information, you name it. All right, the next feature I want to show you is construction sequencing. I'm going to take the phasing data pulled from the Revit export, then align that with visualization with Unity game objects, which will allow me to basically create a digital Gantt chart on my project. So here, if I pull this game object up and I start to slide it down, I correlate the visualization to the dates and the phasing, I can see the deconstruction and then go back and see the reconstruction of the model. Now this is particularly important if you're in the core and shell of a new building and you want to see the construction timeline of your project on site. Let's do that again from a different angle. We can start to see everything disappear and then come right back. This can be for new construction, tenant improvements, uh, you name it. And finally, I want to cover the teleportation menu again because this is really great for client presentations. If you as a designer are going to be handing this iPad over to your end user, this could be very useful to showcase the areas that you find most important. So here, we've actually stepped out of augmented reality, and now we can jump back into the third floor lobby. Uh, we can use simple navigation from the iPad to view the space. We can go into the courtyard from the ground floor and see the day sky as well as the facade of the building. And then we can jump to the cafeteria as well if we like. You can add as many of these anchor points as you want that you find relevant when you're showcasing your project. You also may have noticed a logo in the top left for Unity. This is a logo menu that we've added. So if you're putting your client's logo in there or your own for your own client presentations, whatever you want to put, you can add this functionality and interactivity to your Reflect app, again, by using the Unity Pro Editor. I hope you liked what you saw today. On the next video, I'm going to show Navisworks integration and our cloud support when that comes out with the June update. So, until then, go to the Unity website, find Unity Reflect, and ask for a free trial. As simple as that. Put in the comments that you saw this video and tell us which custom features that you liked and that you would like to bring to your workflow today. Till then, I'll see you next time.